let's say you make four thousand. No, let's say you make what's what's like an average paycheck size for me? Mm -hmm. Three hundred dollars. All right, so three hundred dollars, right? And you like you want your money to make money. You want some interest on this puppy, so you go. I don't get any interest. Well, if you go and drop it at your checking account, you actually do. Do you have a checking account or a savings account? I have a savings account. Okay, so the bank is going to give you interest. That's bank. All right now, let's just give. Wait, is a savings account the same thing as a debit card? Yeah, yeah. If it, if your bank holds your money, they're going to use it. The bank is using your money to make loans. They're gonna give someone a car with your money. You think? Mm -hmm. All right, but you get you get you get income off that. It's called interest, All right? So, so this is a nowhere near the right number because it's very sad to actually know the actual number. So I'm gonna say that your interest is five percent. What's it actually? 0.01 percent. You make nothing. So the interest, let's say it's five percent. So then, why would I go to the bank and do this? Um, because it's better than your mattress, under your mattress. House burns down, money's in the bank. House burns down, bye-bye money. No, I don't get paid in cash. No, you, you have every right to go take your check to the bank that your boss banks at and say, this is my name, and they'll go and they'll give you cash on the spot with your ID. Like, they'll give you bills and coins. Oh, really? Uh-huh. So, but instead, you go to your bank. What's your bank? Bank of America. I'm writing all this down. I'm asking you like little questions on the side. Like next week, I'll be like, "What's the last three of your social?" And then a month later, I'll be like, "What's the first three of your social?" I don't even and know. And then I'll put I it all I, together. I, I don't even know what my so what my so. <laughs> I, right. my, my parents said I should memorize it, but okay. I haven't. You should. Okay, ready? My parents know theirs. They're like four, three, four, six, hey! nine, and ten. Yeah. Okay. Let's hang on. <laughs> Dude, I don't know it. I was all just right. making up numbers. All right. Here we go. So. So, um, Steve, tell me yours. So, principal. I won't write it down. Prince, principal. All right. The principal is this guy, and you go right here, and look. Then, like one year later, you come out. Well, I know five percent of a hundred is five, and there's three of those. So now I actually know that you're gonna in one year you're gonna make fifteen dollars interest. And that's with 5%? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. All right. So, right. So then you're going to get... So what, what? tell me like, tell me these numbers you have here. They all mean different things, right? You have the 300, you get the 5%, and you get 15. They all mean different things, right? So what is the thing that the interest is applied to? The 300? Yeah. The thing that your interest is applied to is called your principal. So... So, principal is what the interest applies to, right? So, you have A equals P times R, okay? This right here is um, what you get, what you get after percent is applied. After yo percent after percent symbol <laughs> is applied. Alright, so in most percentage problems, is your A is your A gonna be lower than the P? No. Well, in this problem here it was three hundred yeah. And it was 0. 0.05. See, I'm confused because you told me 10, you see? Okay. And then over here is, what is it, 15? You see? So so this answer is always going to be lower, not always, but for these problems, it's going to be lower than this right here. Right? So here's your 300. That was such a line. And then... Zero. Okay. So, and then you have zero, right? And then here's your 15. And how did we get that 15? Um, it was the interest after. Yeah, and what was the, what, what percent got us at 15? The 5. That 5%, right? So this this is... Um, no, but that's, you're doing it again. That's three numbers. How do I do two? Algebra. 
Okay, so so do you understand that three percent shrinks to three hundred down to fifteen? Do you get that? Mm -hmm. Because what's a hundred percent of three hundred? Three hundred. All right. So if we have this formula, our handy dandy formula that will give us almost all answers. If you have this formula and you have a equals pr, all right, you have to ask yourself, um, when this problem that you're looking at right here, it says $7 is what percent of 10? So wait, 7 is what percent of 10? All right, well, at least I know what to do for r. Do you know what to do for r for this problem? It's the rate. Right. So what should I put down? R. R, because that's what we're looking for, right? One percent. Okay. So it's so it's so it's um. Wait. So it's. It's seven it's parentheses one. ten. I mean seven. Seven equals ten parentheses r divided by ten divided by ten. Oh. And that's point seven. And then you want it so that it's seven percent. So can I write it without a percent sign or no? Well, but point seven, you, you actually got point seven. Then that's going to be decimal language. Yeah, I know. So you have to put seven percent. Oh, oh, no. Put it on paper. Oh my god. So point seven, like this, and then go like this, do, 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 and go dun dun. So seven point seven seventy point zero. Right, and you don't need the point zero. So just 70. So $7 is 70% of 100. Okay, so but seven, seven dollars is kind of makes a 7% of 70% of 10. So it's 70. Yeah. And I am I putting the percent? Yes. No. Or no? Okay. Because they they know that you're thinking percent. Alright. Wait, just so we're clear. What is this number here versus this number here? Sorry? What is this number here? Where are you pointing? Versus this number here. That's the answer. That's the principal. Principal is the original number. And what what do you always multiply by the principal? The with? rate. The rate. And usually, will that make the number shrink or grow? Shrink. Shrink. Do you feel like it's a fall creep?